Well, we've already established in a previous episode of Monday Mastery that our world is in desperate need of great leaders. We need leadership, not just any leadership, we need transformational leadership. We're looking for leaders who are willing to challenge the status quo. In fact, you know, governments are failing us. Religion is becoming less and less relevant. It seems as though everyone is looking for answers and we don't even know where to look for them. The sad thing is, is that there are just a handful of people who are making the decisions, setting the agendas and the policies that will not only affect you and your immediate family, but will literally affect generations unborn to time. The unfortunate thing is that the masses of people are just falling into line following right along wherever we're told to go we go whatever we're told to think we think and people are literally just settling for the status quo they're settling for less than what God has for them Albert Einstein said this he said that the problems that we face today cannot be solved on the same level that we were on when we created the same problem in other words, our thinking, our methods, our strategies, our theology, our ideals brought us to this point in our life. But whatever challenges we face today, that's as far as those ideals and those methods would take us. So in order for us to get beyond the point we are today, to solve the problems, the challenges that we face today, we have to have fresh ideas fresh leadership. There has to be someone who's willing to really take a stand and jump out in front and challenge the status quo. I believe that every person is not only capable, but I believe that each of us are called to be that kind of a leader, a leader who challenges the status quo. And I want to give you five steps that I believe will help you in becoming that leader. Number one, decide. Make a decision today that the status quo, that average and ordinary, that just going with the flow is no longer acceptable to you. That's a decision you have to make consciously. You have to say, I, I will not be that person who just falls into line and, and follows the crowd going nowhere. I cannot settle for less than what God has for me any longer. Make that decision. Number two, determine. Determine that you will be the person that becomes that leader who challenges the status quo. Make a determination and a commitment in your heart. I will be the man, I will be the woman that is moving to the forefront now and when necessary will take a stand and, and confront what I believe is injustice and wrong thinking. Determine that you will be that person. Number three, I want to challenge you to take time to describe in words what you believe needs to take place. What change do you see in your community, in your government, in the education sector, in the religious sector, in your family, in your world? What changes do you want to see take place? And I want you to describe those in detail. Write them down. Number four, design a plan and a strategy that will move you toward accomplishing the change that you desire to see. In other words, you have to have a plan. You have to have a strategy. You have to have something that you can sink your teeth into and walk it out step by step. And number five, do it. Just do it. Take action. Don't talk about it. Don't be around the water cooler complaining about all the things you don't like. Do something about it. Get out there and lead. I want to recap these one more time for you. Number one, decide. Decide that status quo is no longer good enough for you. Number two, determine that you will be that person who becomes that leader. Number three, I want you to describe the change. Describe the change in words. Write it down that you desire to see in your world. And number four, design. Design a plan and a strategy that will take you day by day and step by step closer towards the goals and the changes you desire to see. And number five, do it. Just do it. There's an old saying about leadership. It says, if you're not the lead dog, the scenery never changes. And in about two minutes, you'll probably get that. 
But I'm going to tell you, me, I'm not willing to be the dog behind the lead dog. I'm not willing to be led around by my nose. I'm not willing to be led around not realizing where I'm going. And certainly I don't want to land up places that some people are headed right now. So I want to be that leader. I want to be a change agent in my community and in my world. And you know what? I believe God's called you to be that leader. I believe you can be that leader. Matter of fact, I believe you will be that leader. So I challenge you today. Become a leader who challenges the status quo. My name is Brian Holmes, and I appreciate so much your time here today. May God bless you. May He empower you, and may you become the leader He's called you to be. Thank you.